Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Dustin Crace, and today we're going to do another Drinking with Dustin segment. However, this one, if you saw the title, is a bit different because we're not drinking alcohol. What? Um, we are going to be drinking a Jarritos Mexican Cola. And I know what you're saying, Dustin, Dustin, Dustin. You started this channel out, you know, doing video games, and then you branched off into this other stuff, and we were okay with it, because you were drinking alcohol, and that's sometimes fun to watch you drink alcohol, because you fuck up on screen. Uh, watching you drink cola, who cares? But, uh, you know, I'm not a big pop person anymore, and in, in Ohio, we call it pop. I try to call it cola and soda, so I don't sound like an Appalachian, but, uh, I'm not a big, uh, you know, soft drink person anymore. Um, there's just something about it. When it gets in my mouth, it's very heavy. Um, when I get it into my stomach, I just feel like, ugh, you know, I just, I can't handle it anymore. However, um, every now and then I do like to get a, um, a bottle of something. You know, if I go down to Jungle Gyms down in, um, Cincinnati, or I, it's really Fairfield, but the Cincinnati region, um, I can get, uh, Moxie. And uh, Moxie is a fantastic cola if you haven't tried it. It's kind of only available in the uh, northeastern part of the United States. But uh, I just happened to pick this up one day. And um, just, just on, kind of on a whim to try it. And it blew my mind. Because I'm so used to like Coca-Colas and the Pepsis and things like that. That when I tried this... Um, I was really taken aback by how good it actually is. And I can't quite pinpoint the flavor. There's a certain flavor in this cola that's not in like a Pepsi or a Coke. And I can't I can't put my finger on it. Now, this is different from one reason why this tastes great much better than uh, current Pepsi and Cokes and that kind of stuff is because, let's see if I can get on the screen, right there, 100% natural sugar. I, I'm sorry. You know, there's all these advertisements on American television about how your body can't tell the difference between uh, sugar and corn sugar. Specific, when they say corn sugar, they mean high fructose corn syrup. Uh, fuck you. I can't, my, my taste buds can't tell the difference, and I'm telling you that... Uh, Soft drinks made with natural sugar are infinitely better than high fructose corn syrup. I don't know what it is about it, but it's really, really awesome. And like I said, there's a, just a certain, certain flavor in this. You mean? Let me just let's do, let's do it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like a fruit, but when it first hits your mouth, um, and maybe it's just the natural sugar. I don't know. I've looked into it online to try to figure it out, but it's like a secret formula. They can't tell you. But um, when it first hits your mouth, you're going to get that very kind of um, citrusy cola taste because that's what the flavoring in, in like a Pepsi and a Coke, that's what it is. It's a citrus which you, it blows your mind to think of that because you wouldn't think it's a citrus, but it is. And then as you swallow it, and really, you get it a little bit better if you let it warm up a little bit more. This is still a little bit too cold. But um, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like my brain keeps telling me I want to say uh, like a cinnamon flavor. And that's wrong. That's incorrect. I don't, it, it's, I don't know. But there is just like this bit of a tang flavor to it that really makes it um, infinitely better than both Pepsi and Coke. And I'm a big, I, I, I grew up with Pepsi. I've always been a Pepsi person. Um, my godfather got me started on Pepsi. Here, doesn't have a swig of this, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, as I've branched out and other things, like I really like, I'm, I'm going to start doing some, like root beers and things like that as well. Cause I think as far as craft brewing goes, root beers are really right there along, um, with 
uh, real beers. Um, so, but you know, I, I might throw these in every now and then. But uh, you know, Jurito's Mexican Cola. If you're looking for a, a just a nice soft drink, if you're into like uh, soda pop and things like that, soda pop. I sound like an old man. Yeah, we're back in my day. We drink soda pop. Um, definitely go to your. Uh, usually, you find these in the foreign food aisle. At least that's where we find them here in Ohio. Uh, I have to go to the Mexican food aisle to find these, and you have to buy them individually by the bottle. They're ninety nine cents a piece, but I think they're fantastic. And I mean, it, I, I don't like drinking pop all that much because <clears throat> see, I mean, I, I've done how many drinking with Dustin segments on beer, and I've never burped like that. I mean, there's just something about pop that really makes you feel sluggish and worn down. But every now and then, it's nice to have just that kind of that flavor. Because I think there is there is a lot of great history with colas and sodas and sort of how they started off as medicinal. And it really just kind of people are like, I just like the flavor. Let's, you know, make more. Um, you know, they were, they were health tonics back in the day. And now they are the bane of everyone's, you know, waistline. I think that's hilarious. But yeah. Definitely one of the best colas I've had. I don't think it's going to knock down um, Moxie. I think Moxie is my favorite cola just because there is a real, there is a real noticeable difference in flavor. Um, you know, it's almost bitter, um, you know, and uh, it really interesting flavors in that uh, pop, so... Unfortunately, I can't find it too easily here in Ohio, but, um, you know, I could always just drive two hours to Jungle Gems, and that place is ridiculous. I should do a YouTube video on Jungle Gems. I wonder if they let me film in there. It's like a grocery store. Their foreign food section is the size of Walmart's entire food section. I mean, it's huge. It's like an entire Walmart Super Walmart, the biggest fucking Walmart you can imagine, and it's just a grocery store. You know, their cheese section is like <clears throat> the size of a, uh, I don't even know, it, it's about the size of like, the cheese, sex, cheese section alone is like the size of three GameStops. You know, so that'd be a fun video to do. But anyway, um, definitely, I'm getting way off topic on this, I'm not even drinking alcohol. Um... Definitely check out Jurito's uh, Mexican Cola. I haven't tried any of their, their fruit flavors, but a lot of people seem to really like them. But uh, I really enjoy this. And uh, let me know if you want me to do more on um, colas and pops and things like that. Because I do plan on doing one for Moxie because it's just – Moxie's amazing. But um, anyway, guys, that's it for this. Uh, Going to be recording – an episode of the podcast, episode four. Um, go ahead and announce it now. Episode four of the podcast will be recorded Sunday night. We are going to have a guest on there. Um, I don't know if I've uh, mentioned who it is. Should I keep it a secret or not? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't run this past Stephen. Uh, we're gonna have a guest, Fem Trooper. She's awesome. We're gonna have a good time. Uh, gonna be talking about uh, various topics. I'm gonna keep them a secret, but uh, make sure make sure you've subscribed um, to another gaming podcast. Uh, I'll put a link in the description down below because really, I, I haven't found a better way of sort of letting you guys know there's a new episode out, other than just posting it to the um, another another gaming podcasts. Uh, YouTube page. So, um, yeah, if you want, I mean, if you like hearing Steven and I prattle on about stuff, uh, definitely check that out. Uh, subscribe to us so you know when the new episode's coming up. We actually have the next three episodes booked with guests. Uh, Fem Trooper for this one, and then the next two we'll talk about when we get there because you never know what'll happen. Um, we could always, uh, life, you know, we could always lose them. So, uh, but anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Where's the button?